a girl talk episode for you guys today. We have the oh, I love it. I'm spiraling too. Another way, it's winter, man. We're hibernating. I'm, I'm on board. Oh, looking for lay. Story of my life. Yeah. <laughs> so the conclusion there is that there is no conclusion. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. It's Brooke and Danielle, and we are here for another episode to just make your week a little better, a little brighter, a little brighter, warmer. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> warmer. It's um, currently 20 degrees here in New York City, and that's cold for the gals. I'm wearing two layers. If you're watching on video, Brooke's in snowshoes, like she, came yeah, no joke today. No, I didn't want to mess around. No. I almost like I, I, <laughs> I almost took a tumble today, and I said, no, no, no. I'm making it to the panic. studio in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see you. It's like you literally have to like waddle in the snow because there's still some snow on the ground. Yeah. Because you don't want to slip. Patch of ice underneath it too. Like sneaky ice. Did you ever hear of black ice? Like, yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess not. It wasn't really a thing in Florida, Florida yeah. but I have heard of it. Yeah, because it looks like the road, right? That's like, like what I, my parents, they'd be like, be careful, there's black ice on the road. Like <laughs> when I first started driving yeah. and stuff. Oh, that is actually really scary. Yeah. There's definitely a lot to think like with winter uh, terrain and like driving and stuff. It's a whole you know, new you world. Skid. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Moving to New York, I'm like, whoa, like you got to have the right undergarments, like the underpants yep. and the underpants. Underpants, your <laughs> long <and> johns. <laughs> um, and yeah, yeah, it's been snowing in New York, which has been actually really fun. It was like the perfect amount. Not too yes. much, not too, like, thank you, New York <laughs> yeah. weather. And it's really nice if you're inside and you look out and it's snowing. I mean, that's the most magical. Yeah. I mean, that's my favorite when I have no plans. When I have yeah. something I have to do, like, and I can't get out of it, I'm like, God damn it. I like, know. That is, yeah. I know. It's when nice cozy when you indoors. can just sit inside. Yeah. Cozy up by the fake fire. I put the fire on my TV. Of course. Yeah. It makes you warmer, I swear. <laughs> It does something. Um, well, we have a Girl Talk episode for you guys today. We have three really fun, juicy, spicy, vulnerable topics that we're talking about today. You guys love when we do these. And uh, But first, we have a little just reminder about our Gals in the Go live shows. Oh, we do. We have three shows coming up. Um, we hope to see you guys there. So February 2nd, we're coming to Charlotte. Yes. There's low tickets on that. So if you want it, yeah. I'm... I would say grab them now. Yeah, it's it's literally in like a few weeks. Yeah, so, so. snag those up. Then two weeks after that, we are going to Toronto. Toronto. Toronto, we need you to come in hot, okay? We have high hopes for you guys. We are probably not coming back to Canada <laughs> for another minute. Get your tickets. We are so excited. We're bringing Delaney and Caitlin are coming. Kat's doing our makeup. Like We're going full force for you, Toronto. So we want you there. We want to have a great night. It's going to be so much fun. So that's February 16th. That was a great pitch. Thanks for that. Yeah. yeah, the energy. No, it is really true. We don't have any plans to come back to Canada, but we pushed hard. We pushed hard for you guys. So please show <laughs> us back the love so our agents let us go to more Canada plus. plus. I, I know people who live in like uh, Montreal and stuff. We met some this summer. Like It's yes. not far. Right, like that. It's like maybe I think four, it's three or five or four hours. Okay, okay. But like we've met, you know, make a trip out of it. A little road trip. A little road trip. Maybe yeah. you have a friend that goes to university <laughs> there or lives there. I promise it's going to be a minute till we come back over there. So please, 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 please come. It's going to be so much fun. Like the rev- you guys already know, people feel really strongly about our shows, and I think they're so much fun. And then on February twenty third, we're going to be in Philadelphia. Yay! So come one, come all. Gals in the Go Podcast com. You can click the live show tab, buy tickets. Um, of course, tag us in your stories if you guys are buying tickets. We yes, love seeing. That makes us really excited. Yeah, we get hyper. Like, wait, people are actually coming. Yeah. This is great. Like, this <laughs> is the thing where there's going to be humans in there. So. I know because we just get the ticket count, so we're like, oh, okay, people are buying them, I guess. Yeah. But when you, you know, we we see it and we see you guys, and we interact and it's fun. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So we hope to see you guys there. And uh, yeah, so I guess we can do a little catch up and mustard. Yeah, catch up and mustard. What what's, what's you? With you? What's new with me? I have been um, spiraling. I have been. Oh my God. Yeah, no. I'm like, you're like, wow. Oh my gosh. Let's. All right. Danielle is dressed like a therapist today, I'm and really she's playing. Yeah. <laughs> I have like ballet flats on and a blazer. I'm like, all right, Brooke, talk to me. I had therapy yesterday. You should go back to therapy. I am. I signed. I okay. have a few chats with some people coming up. I'm trying to find the right, you know, fit for me. It is. Um, <gasps> Guess what? What? My therapist told me she's retiring. What are you going to do? I don't, I'm like, she's like, I'm not retiring till May. So we have some time. But I'm like, like, I have to tell so. I mean, you're going through that now. You have to tell someone like, she just knows everything. Like I've been working with her since high school. That's a long, you have a lot of history. 
Yeah, yeah. like she'll refer back to, oh, you know, with when your parents, I'm like, oh my God, like you just get And me. you're like, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, like things that you, yes. Yeah, so sorry, not to make it all about me. No, but. that is absolutely a problem, but I would feel that she would, I know that this is a thing with like some doctor's practices, dentists, they like pass it down to someone. Does oh. she have anyone that you would like recommend? Maybe like a young student or something that like could take, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe yeah. not even young, like it could just be someone that's no, like No, I like a, that she's actually on the, well, she's retired, she's on the older side and I actually like that. Oh, you do? Yeah, I think I do. I feel, I don't know, but I've never had a, I don't know. I don't know. So my last therapist was on the older older side and at first I liked it and then I started to feel like we just had such vast generational differences that I explaining that. things, mm -hmm. I was like, I it's with what we do and everything, it's, it's just a lot of our world is online. So being yeah. like the comments, she's like, what do you mean about the comments? And I was like, no, like, you don't get it. Like there's comments. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just got yeah. so frustrated. No, that's so true. Certain things you have to explain and that's not fun. Yeah. So but it's, it's not her specialty. Yeah. Of course. Like, yeah. you know, I can't expect everyone to be an expert on that. She's it's like explaining. Influencer therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure those are the thing. Probably. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Uh, so yeah, I have been, um, well, it's, you know, winter, so we're just going through it. And yeah. I feel like instead of the winter uglies this year, I'm just, well, I have those too, but you know, <laughs> Talk to me, I'm bro. like every little thing. Um, I don't know. I think it's just because I'm spending a lot of time alone too. And I've just been like chronically online and I've just mm, been yeah. in a dark place with yeah. that sort of stuff. But it's so weird. Cause like everything with in my like, life is good. Like, just thoughts what? of myself, like thought, physically? like physically? physically, like emotionally, like I'm just like, yeah. oh my god, am I the worst person? Like I don't know why I just have been in a dark place. Yeah, I definitely get in moods like that, so it's definitely valid, especially when you know we both live alone and when you're just not yeah. bouncing things off of other people. You're like, oh my gosh, it's all inside of me right now. Yeah. Um, also with work stuff, I just this always happens every year. Things slow down a lot in January, but I just want to be real about it because I feel like you see influencer culture and you're like oh my gosh they like they're you know constantly doing like huge projects huge deals and like we literally just announced the tour like I'm, I can't even complain that we don't yeah. have like a lot going on but then I feel like a lot of things are slowing down a lot of like deals and like work stuff might not be coming in I start to panic red panic like mm -hmm. I'm like about I'm like oh my gosh you know, and that's working free like as a freelancer yeah. essentially you know it's not it's and set flows. income we have some set income which is yeah. really really nice at least I know I can pay my rent and stuff yeah, like that yeah, and yeah. Um, I definitely have savings and stuff like that, but you just think about the future, you know, and I'm forecasting like years out. I'm like, you know, how many years am I doing this? And I don't know. Have you ever spiraled like that? Um, all the time. Okay. Are you kidding me? Like, I feel like when I first moved here, I'd be like, you know, oh, I'm like really stressed about like, and you were like, oh, I actually have a lot of work right now. And like, I didn't like, mm -hmm. I feel like it just kind of goes and flows and mm -hmm. Especially with what we do, there's a lot of influencers now, and it like you mm -hmm. start to compare yourself like all the time. But like you said, we just announced a huge live show, and we're yes. having so much fun. And our community rides so hard for us. Like, we I know. Were, who are we with? Um, Bridget and Audrey. Oh they were, yeah, yeah. They had come to our show, and we saw them at an event, and they were like, "I haven't seen you since the show," and like you girls just absolutely crushed it. Like your fans are just so enthralled with you mm -hmm. and you guys like they were just saying like the nicest things and it means the world especially when it's from our peers I guess like oh totally what we do it meant a lot to us and they were literally like I couldn't do that like I don't know how you guys do that so no you're so right of that it too. is a lot of like I, I talked to my manager about this because yeah. I was like I'm just like really in my head I'm comparing myself a lot and he was like you know you have to remember that those the people that you're comparing yourself to they're comparing themselves right back to you 100%. you know That's and a you, good point. the stuff that you had going on in December or the stuff that you had going on in November and I, I also working in freelance, maybe people relate to this. I talked to Kat a little bit about this too, and she said that, you know, just there's not like a lot, it's winter, like, you know, yeah. it's like dead of winter, like things pick up again around, uh, like she does fashion week and stuff. And she was, I was saying that I started to have regrets about like things that I said no to or passed up in like November, December. Like, I don't know if, you, you know, there's a lot of work around like holidays, like big campaigns and stuff. And I, was like, oh no, I'm fully booked. Like I'm all set. But yeah. now I start to have regrets of not taking those opportunities because I am slow right now, like in terms of like my workload. Yeah. Which, but then again, you could see that as a blessing. Like I have time to read and to catch up because then like when I'm busy, I'm stressed. So like I, I don't know what the no, answer and is. Like <laughs> I, I think what you see on social media too is just the highlights, as everyone says. I'm slow on work right now too, mm -hmm. but I think you just take that time. Like I see you've been cooking a lot and you mm -hmm. like, lean, so I'm like leaning into more like today I went to Soho and I shot three outfits. None of them are sponsored. It was just for fun. Yeah. So I feel like you just like, lean, it gives you more time to do more creative stuff and yeah. have fun with it and bring in new people. And that's what I try to tell myself. No, you're right. It's a complete blessing to have this problem. Like it is oh, definitely no, I don't mean it like that. I just oh. mean more so like 
use use that free time yeah. and like or, or you can read or cook and do stuff like that but like i'm trying to use it to make organic content yeah no you're right um, it's a great great point um i just wanted to say that i also had a it's, it wasn't as deep of a spiral but i <laughs> do you talk about your ears yes oh so i talked about it on a you youtube video our group, okay I, I missed the video well, I've wanted to do this for a while. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's back on the. It's back on. My, that was another. That was a past few week yeah. revelation that I was like, you know, thinking about my goals for the year and like, you know, I just. So I have had a whole thing my entire life with wearing my hair up because I feel like my ears stick out. Now you know it's subjective. People can say no. People can say yes. I personally like the when people are like you're allowed to feel that way but yeah. i don't see it you know like yeah that's a, that's i like that like a validating a response it. like, like yeah. no i know well it's always hard when you're like the friend because it's like because i genuinely don't see it but it's also you have to feel good so if it's gonna yeah. make you feel good you gotta do it totally and i knew that this was a thing for a while did you say you had a friend who had this yeah. procedure done yeah she got her ears pinned yes did she have to go under do you know the particulars I don't remember that, but it, she said it was super easy. You just have to wear a headband for... Like but week? headbands are in right now. That's what I was thinking. I think for like a month. Oh, a month. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get the details. I'm going for a consult. I did a little bit of research. Luckily, we live in New York City where there are fantastic doctors yeah. and surgeons of all kinds. Um, it's called an otoplasty, I think. Um, I started wearing my hair up last year, but I just... You know, I, I'm thinking about... Honestly, just the future of my life. Weddings, not just my wedding, but like attending weddings, like yeah. it, and formal events. And I would love to be able to like go on a red carpet and wear my hair up and feel confident. You know? Totally. No, I feel like there have been situations we've been in recently where, you know, they're like, oh, we want you to wear your hair. Yeah. Up. Yeah. And, yeah, and like, I'm like, ah. ah. And you don't want to have to feel that. You should just be like, yeah, let's put my hair up. Yeah. Let's tie it all the way. No hair in the front. Like no, just... nothing, nothing, no, uh, protective layer. Yeah. No, it's definitely a thing. I, I, I didn't know about it until my friend did it. And then I've heard about it more recently, how people get their ears pinned. It's such a funny way to it's, put it. Like, no, I know. Back. <laughs> it's more common in children. <laughs> That's why. No, you look it up and it's oh. like otoplasty and like in parentheses children procedure. Like, cause it's like you do it when you're like five or six, like your parents can take you and do it. Cause it's less pain, less recovery. You know, like it's kind of like uh what do you get when you're a younger, like your tonsils, tonsils. Yeah. Tonsils. Like I feel like there's a lot of those type of things I yeah, mean, for guys. They get their, uh, what is that? The fucking, the balls. What, circumcised? what circumcised? Oh, yeah. yeah. Not the balls. Sorry. I'm like, you know, <laughs> the ball, the ball. Are... Sorry. Not the ball. No, circumcised. you know what I mean? <laughs> There's like, a, <laughs> I'm like when you're younger, like, yeah. It's, yeah. I think that's when you're like a baby, right? That's when you're a baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Four years old. Now we're going to go get a <laughs> circumcised. Oh my God. He would hate <laughs> his parents forever. <laughs> oh no. People do that as adults too, though. Like, if you really? don't and like you want to, like, it's definitely, I mean, it's not oh as God. common, but like, it's the same thing that it might be something you live with and you're like, damn, I should have done this one. Yeah. Younger, but I wish didn't. my parents did it to me. Yeah. Or I don't know. <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, so that's. Maybe it'll be a gentle procedure then if it's meant for children. There's ways to do it that I don't have to go under, like, fully under. Oh. So I can local just. Local anesthesia. Yeah. So I'm. I'm just gathering information if any of you guys have done it um, and have feedback. The feedback that I've seen of people who have done it are like, I mean, Jane, of course. I feel like with most plastic surgery procedures, it's like it changed my life, you know? I mean, and your nose job changed your life. Changed my life, yeah. So. I'm comparing it to that, yeah. So you're like, I mean, if that'll, yeah. Wow, this was such a therapy session. I am really so sorry. I just people, took Are you kidding me? That's why people listen um, to our podcast. Okay. <laughs> like, we're not here to provide info, so. We're just yes. here to chat. And I don't want to encourage anybody else to like feel that way about themselves. But I also like to be open about these things because I think, I think that's really powerful it. too. Well, you Or you could be like a celebrity and go do it, not tell anyone, and then gaslight everyone. And be, yeah, and be like, like, no, of course I didn't touch my... My, my ears have always yeah. been this way. Like, no, you're an honest girly. You're so right. The celebrity mm -hmm. like before and afters, and they're like, no, literally, I just use olive oil. Like, you're like, fuck off. Okay. Like, okay. okay. No, you got your ears pinned. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think it's... Uh, I think it's a cool thing that you yeah. draw back the curtain draw back yeah um and then i started spiraling about my laugh that was another thing that you really can't control your laugh yeah wow. i just went on like oh, a I whole deep dive laugh. no and most people are really nice about that too but then i started thinking about it laugh voice just all of these things like you really you wait yeah yesterday you texted oh yeah. and we're like guys does my voice sound a little bit more high-pitched in that <laughs> I oh swear it was God, sped up. I want to give you a, such a big hug. No, I really am okay. Like, I'm not, oh, like, yeah, over yeah. here, like, distraught, but it's just, like, it's thoughts that I'm, like, 
Let's talk about it. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm having all kinds of thoughts that we'll get into for the Girl Talk topic. So. Oh, I love it. I'm spiraling, too, in other ways. Oh, great. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, perfect. Don't worry. Perfect, it, perfect, it evens perfect. Out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, oh, honestly, overall, my life is really good. I feel like in the winter, so random. I talk to my parents on the phone hours a day. They just stay on, like, FaceTime and calls with me. Like, I'll That's call so them for, funny. like, an hour and then, like, hang up the next day. I'm like, oh, my God, guys, I have so much to fill you in on. But That's nothing so even happened. No, it's fun. I definitely have found myself, like, talking, like, just leaving the phone on and uh-huh. just talking to someone. Because it's just, it's winter, man. We're hibernating. Yeah, it's nice to catch That's up. Really cute. Yeah. Laugh and voice you really can't fix, though, as an adult is what I'm saying. Like, that's, no. that. those are the things that you could try to maybe work on it and make it sound a little more cute or whatever but if you're authentically laughing it just comes out you can can, yeah you know i love like a good old laugh like that means it that that makes you laugh like yeah i I think of the people with the biggest laughs and they're who i laugh with the most so that's wholesome so i I laugh with you a lot it's joyous no i we do we We do do laugh a lot (laughs) yeah did you have a good weekend though other than that I had a great weekend. Okay, now passing the torch to you. Now I get to be the therapist. I got to put on my blazer. <laughs> do you want your blazer? Um, I had a good weekend too. What did I do? Oh, uh, Ryan and I did Getaway House, which was really yes. nice. Yes. We went. That was his Christmas gift to me. We did one night in the Catskills. It was lovely. It's really like you can't stay more than two nights, more than a night there, unless you're like mm-hmm. doing a day activity because there's literally nothing to do. But it was so nice. We cooked burgers over the fire. Ryan's Eagle Scout came out. And we have good chats. We played Serena's card game. Oh, fun. And, some, and uh, we're not really strangers. Like the, you know. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you brought your, like, card game. I games. brought my card game. Yeah. Got a speaker, listen to some slow country, you know, good vibes. Woke up the next morning. You we, rented a car. Rented a car? Ryan did it all. By the way, I didn't have to do a thing. I just had That's to give That's so nice. It was so nice. He coordinated it all, like, everything. I just sometimes forget that I can give up the control mm. and, like, let someone let, else do it. Let, let them. them. Let them bury. I don't want to say we started that, but I mean, <laughs> no, obviously Mel start. Robbins started, yeah, and then your mom. But now yeah. I'm hearing it a lot. I know it, it. Sometimes you just like I'm just, especially with plans, I always want to take control over it, and it's like just give it a little bit and see. Like mm-hmm. I, because Ryan had gotten this for me for Christmas, and in my head I'm like, okay, so when are we gonna go? Because he didn't like plan it because I also would have killed him if he planned it. I'm like, you dummy, I'm out of town though, you know. Yep. So we had to do it together. But I kind of mentioned it to him last week, like, oh, you know, this weekend I'm here. Maybe we could do it. And then I I got off the train because he was on the next stop. And I said, think about it. And I got off the train. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like, spiraling all night. I'm like, oh, my gosh, is he going to book it? The next morning he texts me, okay, they have availability Friday night. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Bars down wow. here. <laughs> I'm like, yay. No, you set him up for success there. With yeah, like a I'm little... learning sometimes you got to, like, tell him. Yeah, you, put, you what is that? You lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he drank. <laughs> on his own so it was it was really nice he was like i'm so glad we did this like it's just nice to see the stars and go out into the wilderness it was freezing and it snowed oh my god but i got him to watch how to lose a guy in 10 days which he's Ad, never seen on Gal- yeah we just watched oh, you guys it on did so computer. much in this one well, like it, card game burgers like yeah, watch the movie. <laughs> well, we got there at like four or oh, five okay. and th- there is nothing like we, we are the activity mm-hmm. Like, we started to go for a walk, and I was, like, slipping on the snow. I was like, can we go back? Like, I'm not, like, I like to walk, but I was yes. not. And it was nighttime, right? Yeah, it was, like, starting to get dark. I was like, let's go get the fire because I'm cold. <laughs> you know, like, just, so it was nice. And then the next day, um, went to a, like, burlesque show in the Lower oh. East Side. It was really random. Was that planned? Um, <laughs> yeah, it was, like, planned, like, that day with a few of my friends. We went to Dirty French before. We had a Lower East Side night. Then we went out so into cute. Flower Room, or Flower Shop. Flower oh, room. yeah. People love that bar. Yeah. Um, it is really fun. I've only been on another time, and I didn't, like, die for it. But this night, they were just playing the best music to mm. dance to. And I love when you can dance in a bar. It's not just, like, chatting. I'm like, I just want to dance. So it was fun. So, yeah. That's a real, a real Lower East Side time. Yeah. yeah. Wait, the bur- I need more information on the burlesque show, though. Like, was it, was it like, a... Uh, a show that with a stage and well, a whole thought, performance or yeah it's cool. <laughs> i like pre-gamed it by watching burlesque the movie which i shouldn't have done because it was very different it mm. was it, i don't even know how to explain it it was like there was a magician on stage and then there would be like a dancer dressed as like a snowman and then but this wasn't the box though what? no but i i posted on my snapchat and everyone's like are you at the box <laughs> so i don't know if the box is it must be similar no it's it like not. box it's called dupe. the slipper room dupe yeah, the box dupe. I want to go to the box. Have you been to the box? No, I, want to go. I haven't. 
feel like that's another one that you gotta got a plan for, yeah, right? I feel like that's like a whole thing. Yeah. I feel like it's hard to get into, I feel like. I'm, and that's the the other thing about this twenty degree weather is I will don't catch me waiting in a bar line outside. Oh no 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 no! I need to be guaranteed <laughs> guaranteed I, entry guaranteed I know. entry. If fast I'm gonna pass. look like a fool, it better be warm outside. Yeah no no. Or they need to start having like heaters outside of bar lines. <laughs> they always do like right before the entrance for, for the, the door for the bouncer, of yeah. course, because he's out there in the cold. They always have the warmest coats, though. They, I'm like, where are you getting that jacket? You're so right. They always look so warm. They, they look, be- they're like super plush and like, yes. I, like big parkas. Big parkas. It's similar energy to the flight attendants' carry-on bags. You know how <laughs> it is similar the f- energy. They yeah. always have the best. They, yep. It's not required. You're I right. learned it's not required for them all to have the same bag, but they all have it wait oh 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 i thought they all were like given like that's what they like maybe the bag they, on the bag you know maybe they get a discount but i don't oh that's really interesting from what i understand that that is not required None of them use like base or away so this one that they use must be like that's what i'm saying it's, it's like, like, like soft like, luggage with that thing that like buckles onto it uh-huh the pilots and the flight attendant yeah. like everybody who works on a plane has this get up it's a specific, like, that's how you could tell. I feel like when you're in the airports, I'm like, yeah, oh, okay, that's, that's that's the pilot. Yeah, like, you're so right. <laughs> Similar energy. That's Let us know thought. where you guys are getting your industrial gear. <laughs> oh, one other random thought I had. Well, I saw it on TikTok, but skirts are the new going out top. What are your thoughts? You wear you wear it as a skirt? I mean, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You're wearing <laughs> You wear Wait, wait, wait. Or no. I worded that so confusing. Sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah, like Wait, going yeah. out tops out, skirts, we're wearing those. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. Um, <laughs> like now I'm noticing, like me and my friends are texting, oh, what are you wearing? Like, oh, I'm probably just wearing like a simple top and a skirt. Like the skirt is now the statement, I feel. Mm. You know, cause it's normally like, oh, I'm wearing a going out top and jeans, which I still do, by the way. But I'm noticing a lot of people are wearing just like a simple tank and then like a little like cute sequin mm, skirt. That's, I like this theory. So, it. and I wanted to share that with you because I mean, you obviously wear skirts. I just think it's a cute little, especially with tights during the winter. Mm-hmm. If you don't really like want to wear like a corset bustier top, you wear a simple top and then you have a cute little skirt. I think it's a perfect formula. Yeah. And some places are a little nicer than jeans is yeah. the thing. You know? Yeah, and all my jeans are like baggy jeans. So I don't have a good fitting pair other than my skinny jeans that I wear occasionally. I feel the same. They're like a little, they're slightly. Yeah, they're not really feminine looking. <laughs> <laughs> the boys love them. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that, I know. Every time I put on like, like I'll be like, should I wear this denim skirt or this pair of jeans? Ben's like, probably the skirt. Like, yeah, they're always going to offer the yeah. dress for the skirt for the tight pants. No, that like, is so funny that I said that. And you're like, Danielle, really? We're putting skirts on our shirts now? <laughs> Because I, I shit, I would say no, but I have seen. Oh my god, that was. I feel like not maybe not skirts as shirts, but like long shirts. So that's that's what I thought you were okay, referring yeah, to. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, not yeah. I have not seen skirts as shirts. To be clear, but I thought you were talking about like a bodycon skirt, like wearing that as a shirt. No, I, I, that's why I'm laughing because that's some shit I would say, and you'd be like, and, okay, Danielle, we're just sure. rewearing everything a different way now. Yeah, no, I just mean like it's kind of more like I think now when people go out. It's not always a black top and jeans. Maybe it's a skirt, and that's like the going out top. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm on board. I'm into it. All three yeah. of my friends, we were all wearing like skirts with tights and boots. Oh, that's I know. Oh, that's, that's the that's new that's the that's new that's uniform. That's used to be black shirt, yep. jeans, and like booty black booties or something. And now it's yeah yeah. But we should do like there's then like stages now. of the going out. You know when you're in college yeah, oh gosh that's a whole deep dive yeah. i stumbled upon some of my study abroad outfits because i was oh, looking with, they were tragic they were <laughs> tragic and i know that i packed only minimal things like i remember even packing for that trip and i was like damn i'm impressed with myself we can tell yeah. we can tell babe we can <laughs> tell <the> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were tough they're tough I don't remember. Did you you post some on your close friends? Yeah, no. I just I feel like it would be like a dress with like just booties, but like it was just this 2017. I know. The, so I was wearing like a choke or two. Like it just something's off. Like it, it's so tough though because that was so it when you were in that outfit. <laughs> That's what I'm like thinking about now. Like these outfits we're wearing, you know, this year. <laughs> In a few years, I'm I know. like, what was I wearing? I kind of get the feeling when I put on something a little out of the ordinary. Yeah. I'm like. I know, 
I know in a few years I'm going to look back and say something about this. Oh, yeah, totally. You're like, I know, like, right now I like it, but it is a little. You feel it. You feel that you energy. Feel like, yeah. Ooh, this is a look. Versus know? something safe. I put on, like, a T-shirt and jeans. I'm like, I, it, it's not going to change the fashion nope. game, but, like, it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll get by for the next few years. Yeah. It's classic. I guess that's like playing it safe versus like not, you know? So when people will come for celebrities or whatever and be like, I didn't like her dress on the red carpet. It's like, she tried. She took a risk. Yep. It could have gone exceptional. Yep. It could have gone poorly, but she probably felt great. So. Yeah. It's, it's a hard thing to play. Um, anything else before we get into our favorite and right? Um, oh, I wanted to talk about the mob wife era. Oh. Yes. Um, mob wife. Uh, mob. We didn't mob talk about it. Yeah, so. It, this is really funny to me because for a while, <laughs> you remember when like fandom names were a thing? Oh, like yeah, so, yeah. So we had the Dan fam. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm trying to think of other fandoms that like were a thing on YouTube. Um, there were so many. It was like a thing on YouTube. You'd be like, oh, I have my Dan fam, and then and was I like, was I like, need one. what is mine gonna be? And I think you came up with it. You're I really, said Michio Mob. You're like the Michio Mob, of course. <laughs> and I feel like I was like. Ha ha ha! Like and yeah, then I no. sh- shut it down. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if mob was like. I didn't want to be like I'm like in the no, mob. No, I know. Like I, <laughs> I, I'm like, is it offensive? But everyone's saying it. Mob. No, wife. I thought that too. So I was like, oh, it's mob wife. It's whatever. And then I, some people were commenting. They're like, you don't even know what the mob is. I'm like, you're right. I, I have no fucking idea. I don't know anything about no, the I mob. Know. Like. <laughs> I'm I I'm here. I understand it, but it's also like it's just a fur coat. Like no, it's it's I'm just not making lasagna too. No. Like, I, <laughs> I mean, I mean, my I was listening to Giggly looks. Squad and they were talking about the mob wife. Yeah, era. that's why it's on my mind. You know, like my mom is obviously not a mob wife. Let me articulate that ten million yeah. times. So we are not in the mob. Um, just because we're Italian, I guess. <laughs> but like, she gives mob wife energy though. No, like without wearing I, the. Yeah. the the fur coat, but like I feel like her presence, like, like she's a loud energy. woman. She's she wear she gets a hands on. And yeah, she's you know she makes her. It needs to just be called like Long Island Mom. <laughs> yeah, because they're all like I, I don't I I'm just teetering on what this is all about. So I've just seen it used so loosely that I didn't think that it was like anything. No criminal. I, no, clearly like, everyone's like, using. It. I never know, and I'm like, okay, we're saying it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're I in it. it's it's I think it's a. A joke, like I think yeah, that if we can, like so. everyone, like it's a take, joke. It's a, yeah, because they're saying the mob wife is the new clean girl, or it's I like, know they're like clean girls out, mob wife is in. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's more so like the aesthetic of because I don't know anything about that world, but the aesthetic of wearing like leopard and fur and glitz yes. and glam and that's fun. Over accessorizing, yeah, let's and do it up. That's even though that's like so not what I do, but I'm like sure, add sure. another one. <laughs> the first time I saw that term was on the TikTok that you posted of us at the Mean Girls, and they're like Brooks giving mob wife. Me too. I thought that it, they were making fun of me. Oh, because of my outfit. But then I was like, no, they're. Oh, then and I then saw that saw it was. T- that was the first thing, and I was like, that's an interesting comment. <laughs> me too. I replied. I was like, I, I was like, I'll try to take a light. Okay, haha. Ha, you got. Uh-huh, you're you right. Got. Lol. And then I was and like, and you're like, oh. I hate my life. But then you went and scrolled, and you're like, oh, this is like a thing. No, that was the first time I saw it too. <laughs> I did try not to be offended. No, I think it's a light, playful thing. Like I think that we just need to not be so. Yeah, actually, for a minute, Maddie's. I don't know if I'm out of here. Maddie's like family. She told me like after college that like they thought that my family like was maybe in the mob because they didn't know anyone like from Long Island. Like they're from Georgia. Like they were like, like oh my fan. gosh. They meet like this like big like Long Island yeah. Italian family. I they're like to see where she's coming from. It's like my dad doesn't have like a construction company or anything. That I mean like he fixes stuff up, but it's not like he's like like I think there needs to be some sort of like major operation that it's like yeah it's like hmm, what's going on over yes. There? But he's like, no, I was a firefighter. Like, yeah, no, the honest truth. Like, yeah, you can look me up, FDNY. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There needs to be like a business or something. They're like, yeah. rah, do Gosh, something through. That's really funny. Yeah, and they're not always from Long Island. I think that you could be from. No, it could be <laughs> Jersey, right? I don't know. I don't know. Don't come for us, please. I do want to watch Sopranos. Ooh, is it making a comeback now? Because I think this? it's been having a. Yeah. My and parents talk about that show. It's like a lot. one of the most critically acclaimed shows of all time. So I feel like that's you did your list last week. That's on mine. Oh yeah. Have Hello. you cracked any? Um, I, no. Uh, uh, yeah, well, no. I'm watching Anna Delvey, and I'm watching Sex Lives with College Girls. <sighs> when I start a new show, like when I start OC, I want to make sure I'm sitting down so I can get all the characters. Down I get it. And everything. But it's gonna happen. 
study up yep. yeah this podcast is brought to you by squarespace we love squarespace here at gals on the go squarespace is the all-in-one platform that is for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online it is a website platform so whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website engage with your audience and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place on your terms so if you go to our website gals on the go podcast.com we made it with Squarespace, okay? So you don't have to hire those like a crazy expensive like coders and like make it so complex. Like no, we can go in and update our own website with ease and quickly and easily change everything around, but it still looks beautiful, okay? We love that we can sell our products online with an online store. So whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has all the tools you need to start selling online. Uh, we love the flexible templates on Squarespace. Like I said, we can go in and easily kind of flip things around. They're designed for every category and use case to customize your look, maybe update your content, and add features that fit your business's unique needs. We also love the social media feeds on Squarespace. Um, so you can like put in your Instagram or whatever social media you want, and it's like a live feed. So you are always getting the live updates from Gals on the Go. Uh, it is so important to have kind of like a catch-all place for your business, brand, whatever it is you're doing. Um, so if you are in the market for a website and you want to make it easy, because why not just make it easy on yourself? Use Squarespace. And if you want to check it out, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash gals to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, go to squarespace.com slash gals to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks so much to Squarespace for working with us. All right, should we get into to our favorite of yes. the week. Let's do it. Um, I've been wearing my hair natural, not today, uh, but when I do wear natural, that's also part of my, like I'm just trying to like, keep my hair healthy and whatever. Yeah. So I feel like sometimes it's good to integrate in some days where you're not, you know, doing heat styling. The JVN air dry cream. So it's actually Jonathan Van Ness. Did you ever watch Queer Eye? No, but I know who he is. I have some of his products. Obsessed. Uh, I didn't even know he had a hair company, so I was out of the loop. Oh, yeah. I like how PR. That's how I knew. And then uh, they sold us for it. Is that where you got yes. it? Yes. Um, and it's just like a tube because I said that I needed like a product to kind of like style my waves. And I really like it because it doesn't make my hair crunchy. Oh, that's nice. It's yes. Like, yeah. I feel like that's what those do a lot. I think it's just the air dry curl cream or air dry cream. Oh, that's cool. An air dry cream. I need one of those. Yeah. So you just kind of like I get out of the shower and I just do a little quick scrunch. Do you do scrunch it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like if I just put it in, it kind of like weighs it down. I need yeah. to like style it a little give bit, it some, mm -hmm. give it something to work with. Oh, but cool. then I like, I didn't get frizzy on the top. I liked it. Yeah. So Very nice. Trying to figure out the best way to use it. Yeah. All right. How about you? I love that. Mine is so revolutionary. It's an Amazon purchase. I got a towel wrap, like ones that Velcro. So it like is when you, because I always, okay. I always wear robes when I do my makeup and then I get a ton of makeup on like the neck of the robe and I, and I don't like that. I don't like when I see makeup on shit. It just pisses me off. <laughs> so, and then also when you're doing your makeup, I feel like I don't blend to my neck or to my chest as much if I have a robe on. So I was like, you know what? Let me just try one of these towel wraps. It has changed my life. I want to start traveling with them. The, like, it's just a towel that it's you like wear? It's like when you have a towel around you, you know, like yep. after you get the shower. But it has Velcro. So it's ah. like a waffle knit thing and you just put it on and it looks like you just have a towel, but you don't, you can lift up your arms and you're good to go. Like it doesn't move. And I feel like you like that because correct me if I'm wrong, you get hot in the robe too, right? I do. Yes, I, I, I get know. hot. I'm getting ready. I just, I, I, I can't do it. So it's changed the game for getting ready in the morning because I can see my whole chest mm -hmm. so I can make sure it all matches and I don't have to pull it over my hair. I don't know. It's just that a sounds whole amazing. Little, little life improvement, little $15 Amazon purchase. Oh. So get yourself a Velcro hotel, uh, towel wrap, not hotel, <laughs> towel wrap. Um, I really might start traveling with it. I bought one for my, I got it when I was at home in Florida and I kept one there. Oh, yeah. That's how you know you like it when you got multiple. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Um, how about your rec of the week? My rec, um, it's a, a book that I read on my Kindle, um, The Mystery Guest. This is a maid novel from like the, so the series is a maid, the maid. I think it's the maid is the original book. And then this was the sequel. Apparently they're standalone books, but I would still recommend reading the first one. Um, short. Thriller, but lighthearted. Mm -hmm. Good message at the end. And I just like the character, which makes it so enjoyable when you that actually so like the main character. Yeah, you don't hate them and every decision they make. Yes. This one, you're like, oh, she's so sweet. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. 
I like that. Oh, yes. I'm, I need to get back on my reading grind. I miss it. I've been really TikToking before bed. Just scroll. Yeah, yeah. And that doesn't make me fall asleep. That keeps me Up. stimulated. I know. My wreck of the week is a podcast. I have found myself. I noticed that the podcasts I want to listen to recently are pop culture podcasts. I just, I want to hear about the award shows. Mm-hmm. I want to hear. About, that's just my thing. So I found this podcast called Taylor Watch. It's about Taylor Swift. And they just like. They don't shit on her. They just talk about, you know, what she's up to. Not, like, gossipy. More so, like... Factual. Factual. And, like, oh, if you didn't know, you know, she used to live here. Or, you know, this dress that she wore is from this designer. I love this designer. I hope they do more for her. Like, just kind of everything. And it's just nice to have on. It's just two girls. It's a Barstool podcast. And I really enjoy it. Oh, my gosh. I can't even believe that there's this. (laughs) No, I couldn't. I don't even know why I found it. It just popped up as recommended. And it's been a nice into my rotation of pop culture podcasts. So I thought I'd give it a... If you're a big Taylor Swift fan, I think you would enjoy it. You probably already knew everything in it. But it's just fun. They'll be like, oh, Mm -hmm. like this week, Taylor Swift went to, you know, the Golden Globes and this and that. And this is what she wore. Oh, what do we think she was gossiping about? Like, stuff like that. Yeah. What do you think she was gossiping? I know it's old news now. I do think it was about Timothy and Kelly. Me too. Like, Me you too. literally see Kelly Teller going, with Timothy? She probably hates her life these days. I mean, just right after she's that, like, she's probably uh, like, I'm so sorry, guys. She's like, I'm, I'm never getting invited to the award show again. No. Because Selena and Taylor were so good at, like, covering their mouth and stuff. I mean, you and I would be like, Bleh. Yeah, like, we wouldn't know. Totally. I don't think about cameras always being on you. Totally. So... But then I feel like Selena dug herself a little bit of a hole by being like, because she did you see she yeah, commented we're back? Just she about was a like, hookup. We're no, we're like, oh, I know you can't double down on a lie. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> don't do that. Makes sense. Yeah. But but I do love her. She's my queen. So no, I know. And I'm here for it. I've made the same mistake. Sometimes I decide to engage, and I'm like, why did I even respond to that comment? Because it now then it gives it more life. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes you just like I just can't help myself. Uh, uh, uh. Story of my life. Yeah. Right. Story of my life. Okay, let's do girl talk because we've been gabbing away and we have more to gab about. <sighs> so much to gab about. Oh my God. Well, now it's your therapy. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> God. Um, so we have a few topics that we want to talk about. A few, actually, I guess all three have to do with being in a relationship, but like. It's kind of also just in your 20s too. Like I think yeah. self reflections of. Um, I mean, this is my first serious relationship, so you could take mm-hmm. it that way too, or you could take it just from like uh, the lens of also comparison and like friends and stuff like that yeah. too. Um, but I think it's yeah, it's a little relationship chat. Yeah. Um, Putting on more lip. So I sometimes I don't like sharing this stuff, but you know what? Whatever. This is a safe space today. I started off yeah. hot. <laughs> On today's yeah. episode. <laughs> well, it's like, especially with relationships up, but like Ryan knows my feelings on this. So during the holidays, you know, you're going to holiday parties, you're seeing family. Mm. It's like the whole, you know, oh. and I understand, you know, when you're single, it's like, oh, like, are you dating? You know, there's always a question. That was the worst too. Let and me it's be clear. Terrible. But you know what? I also, and I'm very grateful to be in this loving relationship, but it is fucking annoying where the only question they have for me is, so when you get engaged? So when you're getting married. So when are you moving in together? It's like, because I'm 25 years old, a lot of people in my life are like, oh, so you, this is what you will be mm-hmm. doing now. And I don't know why it's been bothering me, but I just, I'm like, I'm just living my life right now. I'm, mm-hmm. I live in New York City. It's a little bit different. A lot of my friends are still living their life. I don't know. It's so just really it was getting to me. And so Ryan and I have been like chatting about this fall. Because our leases mm-hmm. are up. Yeah. And if I'm being honest, like, you know, this was the year we were like, okay, we're going to move in together mm-hmm. this fall. And I'm kind of scared. Because <laughs> you, you've said, like, it's like oh, oh it this year. year. And now it's uh, this year. Now is when we were going to do it. And I literally, I know we would spend more time together and mm-hmm. I know we would have so much fun. But it is, and I know you're probably, we'll get into it. Yeah. But I am like, I'm like, whoa, like I'm used to living alone Mm -hmm. and like not being on top of somebody Mm -hmm. and, you know, but then there's like the good part. So I'm just in this moment of, I get so frustrated when people ask me now, which is so annoying because when I'm with other people, I'm like, oh, like it's just the natural question. And then, so let's say you move in with someone, then they say, oh, when are you getting engaged or whatever order it may be. And for you, for me, I a hundred percent want to live with someone before I get engaged. At least that's how I see it for myself. 
not everyone like feels that way and that's totally fine but then you get then you move in together then they say when you're getting engaged and then you get engaged and then they said when's the, when's the wedding and then you get married and then they say when's the kid then you have a kid and you want another it's just always the next thing and i'm not even talking about you guys like you guys are always so supportive so kind it's really like the people in my life mm-hmm. and it's so crazy like i was talking to my therapist about it like why i'm letting other people and get in my head mm-hmm. about things mm-hmm. So I'm just like tackling that mentally. <laughs> Thank you for sharing yeah. your burdens. No, seriously. Um, I think that that's very real. I think that we can all commend you for like saying <laughs> no, it, because it's, and I know you guys might be like, oh, you know, they're, they're not that real or whatever. It's like, we, you have to keep in mind that this is shared publicly. This is very accessible. This is, it's a lot for us to like uh, yeah. th- say these type of things. Yeah. And so there's other people involved in the situation. Of course. Of course. I think that we would share anything about ourselves. Yeah. Way. Yeah. But we, we would share more about our relationship, but like, and we do, I feel like we share a lot, but you know, there are other people involved. Yes, totally. So how did, if you don't mind me asking then, so what? What was the conclusion here? What was the, the there, conclusionary so is, remarks? Not, well, you don't have to know yet is the thing. That's so it's Jan, but I'm like such a planner. Like I know I want to move this fall mm-hmm. because it's New York and it's just fun to move. It would be so fun to move with Ryan mm. and I love it. And this has nothing to do with your situation. This is just me. Yeah. I feel that I'm like, okay, once I move in with him, then that's it for the rest of my life. Yeah. Which is exciting and so fun. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. So there is no conclusion. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And maybe some of you have gone through the same thing. Um, but it is tough because that's just the, the name on everyone's lips this year is. So you move in with Ryan. I yeah. get it. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I mean, people, I heard Jared Fried talk about this. I like his opinions on dating because he's mm-hmm. like just a very typical guy. He has a podcast and he's on you up. And he says that when you start dating someone as an adult, so I'm not including college. So I, cause I feel like that's a little different. Yeah. When you start dating someone as an adult, the timer starts and it is so fucking like, then it is. we're, we're counting down. It's like, you've been dating for a year. Like is she the one, you know, you've been dating for two I've years. When that. are you, when are you doing this? You've been dating. And, it, and there's no specific time for any i'm dealing no, with these battles as well though. yeah i mean i th- i think about it just objectively too like my mom had me when she was 27 i'm about to turn 27 no you I know. know i'm like oh my god i'm wow <laughs> we're at vastly different points and not that one is right or wrong you know because she i'm sure has regrets i you know have wishes of doing something else sometimes yeah. not that i like really want to but you know i think about it so yeah i, I think yeah. that it's very valid to be that way and i think that we're both I could speak on us, like very happy to be in such loving, supportive, healthy I relationships. Know. So it's not, I'm, I mean, it's not anything to do with that. It's, you know what it is? Talking to my therapist about it, about it. As we know, I don't like change. Like I, mm-hmm. I also don't love growing up. Clearly, I, I mean, I do because then she was like, "But you live in New York City alone, and you're 25. Like you have grown up." I'm like, "No, I know." More so, my parents, for example, with the house. Like my mom literally moved out so my dad could move in so we could keep it in the family. Like <laughs> yes. I don't like, and they didn't do that for me. It was for our family. But I have been very cushioned in that way of like when change has happened in my family, my family has still made it really easy. Like when they got a divorce, it wasn't this dramatic thing, which I'm very grateful for. All these things in my life have happened and it's just kind of been, I don't know. Like I, I don't, when I moved out of my first apartment in New York, I was yeah. sobbing. Yeah. Sobbing. It was a, it was a pl- it was an apartment for mm-hmm. one year. Sobbing. So I'm just thinking it's it's a little bit of that. It means mm-hmm. okay, I'm going into the next stage of my life and I just don't feel ready yet. So I'm hoping that me, you know, and I and I don't want to move in and then I'm like unhappy because of that, nothing to do with him. Yeah. So because well, you push yourself, you mean into a situation that you yeah. weren't like quote ready for. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't want any it to like make me say anything poor like be upset at him indirectly because of that like yes, it's nothing to do with to him. set you up in an unhappy way yeah. i see what you mean yeah yeah so that's kind of where we're at and ryan knows that i'm there um I'm and he's just doing, the well you have time you have time is the thing yeah i mean you I mean, not so much time but like uh, enough time it's not like you have to make a decision tomorrow i know it's like a weird and i really like debated on talking about this on the podcast but I think that it's just a real thing I'm feeling and also so that people don't ask me about it. <laughs> no, this is a great uh, place to direct I everybody's questions. <laughs> I agree with you that it is predominantly people in my life and it's honestly a lot of people in my life asking that are like the in-betweeners. Like oh it's yeah, not the close close. Not the close close. It will be people that I maybe met a few times, whatever, they're like, so you expecting a ring soon? I'm like, if you really You're fucking so right. knew me, you would know no. Like, You're I, so you know, right. 
Like my parents are not. They don't even ask. Because because they know because the they vibes. know you. Yeah. They know and they know your situation and they yeah. know, you know, they, know they talk to you all the them. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's a valid question. Valid question, yeah. but it definitely is like is that is that where I should be at? Like, no, you know? I know. Especially coming from people who are engaged or do, you know, like yeah. then it's, I feel like you're like, okay. well, and I'll think, I like, I'll think like, oh my gosh, like, well, Brooks, are you saying like, oh yeah. Like, I mean, I could talk about my situation. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I'll just quickly like, I'll yeah, think yeah. about your situation. I'm like, well, she is two years older than me. Like that's I the am- thing. That's why, that's why I'm listening to all of this. And I'm like, but I had two more years. I lived in a whole other city. I literally had a whole nother life. Like, yeah, you, know, you really did. I, I had a lot more time i was single for a very long time yeah so because i think people will look at gals and they go and they're like okay brooke and danielle both dating yes. people for a long time they'll both move in they'll both and i was like thinking oh my gosh like brooke's gonna move in and they're gonna be like why isn't danielle but i'm like you know what brooke's a little older than me okay i i'm two years older <laughs> and I'm, you're ready and you want to and ben lives far so <laughs> no and i'm ready for a, i've also been ready for a change for like i think a yeah. minute like yeah. i've lived in i've lived in the city long i like d- Lived in another city. Then I lived yeah. here. Then I lived alone. I've lived alone for a really, f- really long time now. How That's many so years? True. Like f- five uh, years, six years. I don't know. A long time in yeah. multiple cities, yeah. in multiple apartments. And you're ready for a mate. Yeah, I think I'm just I'm ready for a change. I mean, it's definitely it's a big conversation to have, and I feel like in New York, that's another thing. Like people do move in pretty quick, so I think that's also why people probably ask. Yeah, not necessarily engagement or like major. Well, it helps with rent too. I mean, I that's wouldn't why. mind sharing rent with someone. Trust me, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I think that's why in New York. I know people who move in after six months, and I'm like, wow, that's quick. And they're like, honestly, oh, just put. Rent yeah, it's here. like our leases <laughs> were lined up, and yeah. we had to renew. And no, and I totally get it. So. Yeah. So yeah. You, no, I've, I, it's definitely been on my mind and it's like a weird thing bringing it up. I mean, it's not weird to bring it up. Like obviously I feel very comfortable and like it naturally comes up. It's like, you know, when we live together someday and we talk about the future, I'm sure you guys too, like yeah. talk about the future of and course. like things. I think you get to a certain point in a relationship where you have to talk about the future, like, yeah. you know, and just general timelines and stuff that you, cause you need to make sure you're somewhat on the same definitely. wavelength, at least within a few years. Um, but yeah, uh, I won't say like the specifics yet, but I'm cooking something up. <laughs> it's in the works. But I think that Ben and I will move in this fall when our leases are up. Maybe a little earlier than the fall, depending on what you find. Yeah, yeah. what I find. And his lease is up a little before mine. Oh, right, right. right. Yes. Um, and I would move to Brooklyn, but I've been ready to move to Brooklyn. I've been like, I want yeah. more space. I kind yeah. of like you have a car, yeah. like everything's. Yeah, I just am, I think I'm ready for like a change. I've lived in Manhattan I'm so for a while, downtown Manhattan. Yeah, I'm, ex- I'm really excited about it. Like for me, it was more so like, I I didn't have, and it's not doubts. Because, I mean, I have no doubts like with him and stuff, but I also just feel ready. Then I see the other ones where it's like, you're never fully ready, but I feel like that's more like for kids and stuff. Like people say that, you know, like when well, people- and of course, are, yeah, yeah. but you gotta be at least like I know. 80, 90 percent. Yeah, right? yeah, I mean, yeah. Come on. At least like, I think I can handle this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, I, it's just different perspectives. I, yeah. I don't even think the age, like, I think the age plays into it a little bit, but also just. When, cause we've been dating so long. People are like, oh my God, five years in March. Like, yeah, <sighs> Who's counting? I was 19 years old when we met or yeah, 20. Like a child. I yeah. Know. I don't know. I just have different, like, I have a different perspective on it for myself. And that is that. Yeah. That. And we, all, we also like come from different like family backgrounds and like views on all that stuff too like you know i mean my dad was 40 when i was born so you know yeah yeah there's different things there yeah (laughs) no not even that that's like uh, good or like no there's no opinion on it it's just or right or wrong or there's you know yeah my parents have been together for forever and like they move not that i am my life was very different than theirs like i can't compare it that way necessarily I do want to live together before we're engaged. I do not see engagement on the timeline, like just so we're cl- like, that is so far. So for m- me, like a realistic, tangible goal was the move-in thing. Yeah. Like I don't, it's not going to be like move-in engagement. Like I know for some people that's a journey that it's not my journey. <laughs> like yeah, I want to so put that heard it here first. <laughs> not my journey, not my journey. And you know, people are like, you people surprise you. I, trust me, there's no surprise coming. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to be surprised. Like, you want to be surprised on the yeah. day, but, like, I'd like to know it's coming. Yeah, there's no surprise coming. We actually got dinner with Ben's parents this week and, like, kind of told oh, them, that, like, that we're moving in and stuff, though. So that was oh. sweet. Yeah, I mean, they kind of knew, they, but, like, I was know, like, yeah, yeah. like, I'll, I mean, I'll be moving to Brooklyn, oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah, and it feels, like, weird to, like, announce, but I'm like, I am my own person. Like, I'm 26, like, turning yeah. 27. Like, I, it feels like I have to... 
make a whole like powerpoint and be like reasons why my boyfriend and i should move in together (laughs) but like (laughs) it's like they don't know they're like they're like like, okay sounds good like no it is weird you're so right like we can just do that i know they're like you pay your bills you're good (laughs) no worries going to bed you could just go to bed whatever time you want it's so trippy to me (laughs) the the, uh, autonomy uh, autonomy uh, autonomy of being an adult yeah yeah um so the conclusion there is that there is no conclusion i'm really i yeah, I, I speak on both sides of my mouth because I say I'm like annoyed with the questions, but at the same time, I'm probably ask I'm definitely asking my friends and no, that's the thing. Questions. And that's what I said. Like it's just it's somehow it's just like an almost of a nervous tick. It's like mm-hmm. where you're in a conversation with someone and you just know that's your next question. And so I'm not like upset with anyone else. I'm I feel just, the same. And there's mm-hmm. definitely things that I think about. Like I have my habits. Like you know, yeah. like I ha- I like to play things out loud on my phone. I like to scroll TikTok when I'm brushing my teeth. Like there's just yeah. like <laughs> random things that like I do that I don't think it's that weird, but it's, I don't, if I lived with someone else, maybe I'd be a little more courteous, you know? Yeah. You have to, you can't like, you maybe have to put in headphones sometimes. Yes. Like you have that. to clean up your own mess. Like you have to, and uh, you know, sometimes I'll just like leave stuff on a chair and I'll just be like, Oh, whatever. I'll tend to it later. Like three days later, I'm like, Oh shoot, I should probably clean up that chair, you know? But it's yeah. like, you live with someone. It's like, Hey, I'm having friends over. I need this chair. Like, yeah. <laughs> and just to have, there's a lot of, factors too of like our job and it's a it's definitely a lot for a person to conceptualize i think because we do show so much of our life and like luckily we both have i think very supportive boyfriends of that like to be like you know i'm i'm cool to live with someone no, who's like good morning i'm making my coffee like yeah, yeah no totally i mean that's another thing too you they, they're there mm-hmm. they're listening um, yeah i definitely want to be in a two-bedroom though that's my goal so that's also why i gotta my money right i'm saving no same over I'm here. like yeah. in order for this to work like i would like two bathrooms so that's a and, thing yeah and going back to the bathroom oh my god yeah so we'll end this off on a funny little story i love an anecdote i can't believe i'm gonna share this oh my gosh i re- <laughs> you're getting vulnerable but i'm here for it i think people are really gonna appreciate yeah, it yeah i feel like i, I just, appreciate it oh, and i don't want it to be like the juxtaposition of our stories i don't want i hope that it's not what taken like your that situation way situation versus mine yeah i don't no, want I, it to be I taken that way like that either i just going forward so people know where we're at and they just hear it out yes. and it's totally two completely different people two completely different situations very, and very different situations yeah but we sometimes that's how it two friends might be doing completely opposite things and then you don't want to talk about it because you yeah. don't want to like shit on the other person but it's not we're just talking about it no i mean two for humans talking the longest time i was the single one and you were in a relationship <laughs> like if you think about it like it's crazy yeah so half of this podcast <laughs> that's so crazy um so We've, I guess we've kind of talked about it a little, you and I, um, the poop barrier with the partner. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck We're love. dropping the load. Yeah. So uh. the poop barrier honestly kind of recently got, like, I think, I don't know if I said on the podcast or I just told you or told some friends, that one kind of got broken, which was great. Yes, I've been dating Ryan for four and a half years, and, like, we just don't talk. Like, he'll, he talks about, okay, I'm not going to talk about him. I'm going to talk about me. Like, it, that was broken. The What's like a cute word for fart? Like I hate the word fart. <laughs> um, the like I, the two like the like the two, passing of the gas. Yeah, like. yeah. Do you pass gas in front of the fart? I literally yeah, yeah. hate the word fart. I know, I know. But anything like childlike for it? That's like when people call like you know like they call it like your wee wee or something like instead of I'm like just call it what it is. I mean, no, like that for it. My friend used to my friend I went to camp with. I think she still says it. She'll be like, sorry, I just gassed. Like gassed. Oh, that's not bad. That's I guess bad. it's not yeah. bad. But I always yeah. laugh so hard. You have to hard. pass some gas. You have a uh, like oh yeah like toot toot like toot is such a weird word too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I according to Ryan, I don't toot like I don't I don't. Gas. You never have in front nope. of him. You that, never have nope. like because you guys just don't. So when you have like in the in years past when you've had to go to the bathroom and stuff and like I'm able to. It's a it, quick lickety split. Yep. You know me. I'm in and out. Boom, yeah. done. Like, yeah. <laughs> so. Quick and efficient. Yeah. But when we were in the cabin, it's tight quarters, you know. You're in like, but you guys have done a cabin before. Yeah. No, of course. Again, th- sorry. This has nothing to do with pipping. Like, whatever. Farting. Oh. I don't know. My stomach was hurting so bad. Like, we were sitting there watching <laughs> Was this before or after the burgers? <laughs> after. Mm. And like, I don't know, my stomach was so bad. And I was like, you know what? We're watching How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I'm like, here, let's yeah. see if I lose this guy. I literally was like, it has to come out. Like, it has to. And you know when you don't know if it's going to, like, make a sound? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not sure. <laughs> 
here we are just talking about this on the podcast. And so I just was like, let me just give it a go. And he, it literally smelled so bad. Like, I was no so, noise, but no, no noise. noise. But smell, which I think is worse because I feel like I don't want to out you, but I feel like this is a theme for you. <laughs> like I, I do know as your friend, I do know. Yeah, it's like I was so I was like fuck because then do you address it? Because if there's a noise, what well, you know, there's the noise. Yeah, and you could just be yeah, like, oh. so bad. so then and we're like in under the covers and you oh. Dutch oven vibe. I'm like oh fuck. Fuck me, actually, because I go, I literally was so embarrassed. I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Like, my stomach hurts. That's all I said. And he goes, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't <laughs> smell it, though. He was like, if you hadn't said anything, I <gasps> wouldn't have smelled for it. But he, like, leaned over and sniffed oh for it. God. And he was like, wow, Danny, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, you know, and, it, and then he did not, we did not talk about it. So then the next morning. Well, you just carried on? Like, you yeah, didn't well, he addressed it. He was like, that is smelly. Oh, okay. And then we kept <laughs> going with the movie. And then the next That's morning. So, you uh, swept, swept it under the rug. <laughs> swept it under the sheet. <laughs> and oh then, my. um. Then I was like, fuck it. Like, I'm not going to do it all the time because I'm a lady. Yeah. I was like, my stomach was still hurting. I'm sorry. It was those burgers, I guess. And this one made a noise and not a smell. And he Did was you, like, and oh, like him. he, it, it, every time it happened, he would just be like, oh, like, haha, you know? Yeah. Cause it started so, happening. I cannot believe it took you guys like. <sighs> he, the, by the way, does. Yeah. And he tries to pull a fast one. We'll be like walking on the sidewalk. I'm like, I heard that. <laughs> like he thinks it's like left for dust. Um, so I broke the fart barrier this weekend and that is the story. Do you still lie about, well, not lie. Um, no, I, do you still nickname the poop something else or like, or no, that's not even like, like ever. About it's, it. Yeah. Well, you're not like a big potty talker in general. I feel like I am. I don't know. Maybe it. like with my college friends, because they always know me. Like that, we like just talk about poop all the time. I feel like that's more with maybe, them. Maybe yeah. yeah. Well, because sometimes it maybe yeah. I think it just depends on your friends. Those certain like yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Yep. So, anyways, I cannot believe I just said I had a stinky fart on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was the burger's fault. It was so the burger's it was fault. the burger's fault. They were cooked in some pan that with, yeah. did you use grease? Like what did you even use to cook it? Like, Literally cooked on the fire on like oh. no grease needed. It was like the patty on the griddle. Something um, was in them. Yeah, I don't know. So it was Maybe not my fault. It hasn't right. been cleaned in years. Yeah, it's not my fault. It's literally not your fault. Um, yeah. So that is you're real for that. You're I'm real really for real that. for that. That's a th- okay, example. This is some shit you would hear in the live show. Yes. And I decided to give you guys a little sneak. We don't, we, I haven't said the story at the live show. This is a podcast original, but I'm just saying this is, the, if you want more of this stuff. This is the co- the real content. Come to yeah. the shows. I appreciate you bringing this up. Uh, no, I definitely, I mean, I broke that barrier like really pretty soon no, into a relationship by accident. Honestly, like it's not like I went into it and I was like, I'm just going to fucking fart in front of this guy. <laughs> Fuck it, right? Like, no, I, it was like, an, like it slipped out and then it was like, oh my God, I just farted. Oh, like we laughed about it, you know? And it was like, okay, like that happened, you know? <laughs> no, I'll I don't do know. Again. Yeah. I mean, if it happened, like it, I, yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't let her rip, but like sometimes it happens, you know. <laughs> totally. Have they ever smelled? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when it sucks, in my opinion. But Ryan literally was like, "If you hadn't said it, I wouldn't have smelled it." Cause he has a bad sense of smell. Oh. But like, I feel like he eventually would have if he. I don't know. Whatever. It's like when you bring attention to it. Yeah. yeah. You're just like, oh yeah. Like he's like, <laughs> like I, I feel I'll like you got it. him. No, and we broke the poop barrier pretty early too. Because I'll be that. like, oh, like my stomach hurts, like you know, and I'll just talk about it and stuff. I feel like I, good I, old stomach hurt. Yeah. I need time in the bathroom too. You I'm do. like one of those people, so like it just has to come up. You know, I'm like, yeah. all right. I don't like get the ick by it though. Like it doesn't I bother don't either, me. But for some reason, I had this thing that I just couldn't share it. Yeah, that's how I've always been with every boy. Yeah, you all just don't want to talk. All of you, you don't talk boys. about it. I've loved before. No. I definitely understand the like first trips together. You're like, I mean, oh. I was like plotting my poop schedule. Like, yeah, I was like, totally. how am I going to do that? Or even just before it happened, like, I was like, what's going to happen from this? But it's like, it's a bodily function. Like, we it's, all do it. Yeah. I mean, like, you, unfor- like, that's, you know, that makes us all equal. <laughs> Most of us are able to do that. So and we're blessed to be able to do yeah. that. That's a great way of looking at it, Danielle. You know it's I'm beautiful. So That's that so beautiful. <laughs> With that, that was this week's episode. 
I think that that's a really big marker of where your relationship is headed. You're on the right direction. No, you know, I you mean, broke yeah. the, f- the barrier. And I don't want to yeah. move in, but n- but you'll fart. Yeah, but I'll <laughs> fart. So. That's huge for the program huge for the relationship thank you guys for listening what a doozy of an episode we love you guys so much <laughs> clearly i mean no you wouldn't be saying all of this here we're talking about ears we're talking we're talking i know i'm talking about my today. deep insecurities i know i feel the fire though i'm just like hey here's this deep deep insecurity i have and people are like oh shit we got her we got her totally they're gonna be like stinky danny like (laughs) are you kidding me like they're gonna just run with it on those little stuff oh my gosh have fun (laughs) enjoy thanks for coming and we'll see you guys next week bye Bye. guys